So now we come to the last part basically here we'll be discussing about what exactly is an electric dipole. As I mentioned at the end of the last part that an electric dipole consists of two poles. You need to have a positive charge pole and you have to negative charge pole. Why do we call it a dipole? Because both these charges have to be equal in magnitude. It's just that they will have opposite signs but the magnitude is going to be exactly equal. When you place these two charges at a particular distance from each other, that results into a formation of a dipole. We are going to study its properties and how exactly it is affected in the presence and absence of an external electric field. So students, moving on, we now try to understand about what exactly is an electric dipole. As the name itself suggests, electric dipole, obviously it has to deal with, deal with the electric charges. Dipole means there are two poles, positive pole and the negative pole. So the force of interaction that exists between this is what we are going to understand. In reality, you would see dipoles at many places. For instance, if you take just an HCl molecule, in an HCl molecule itself, chlorine being such an electronegative element, is going to pull the electrons towards itself. So even though it's covalently bonded, what is going to happen? The electron cloud is going to shift towards the chlorine and hydrogen would acquire a partial positive charge and chlorine would acquire a partial negative charge. So that's a kind of dipole that is what is known as a dipole. It exists everywhere in nature. You will see magnetic dipoles as well when we talk about magnetism. But there is a subtle difference between electric dipole and a magnetic dipole. We will see later on in magnetism that magnetic dipoles it exists basically at north pole and south pole. But you cannot have magnetic monopoles. Magnetic monopoles means you cannot have a standalone north pole or a standalone south pole. Always, however small you have the magnet, you are always going to have one north pole, one south pole together. But in the case of an electric dipole, you can have a standalone positive charge and a standalone negative charge. So that is the basic difference between an electric dipole and a magnetic dipole. So let's try and understand more on it. So when we talk about an electric dipole, so electric dipole basically consists of a pair of equal and opposite point charges. These are separated by some small distance. As you can see here, some molecule comes in. When it tries to occupy both the places, it becomes stressed. So what basically means that the center of positive charge is not equal to the center of the negative charge. From the positive charges, you have the lines that are emanating from the negative charges, they are getting in. So this is how a dipole actually exists.